Hi guys, this is something I've been working on for the last couple days here. Actually I lied, I've been working on it since last night. It's just going to be a simple load bank for my Bedini motor. I, uh, I don't have one right now, so I'm trying to make something cheap and easy. Also in the background here, I've got these two electric motors. This black one right here, I'm going to try to retrofit it and rewind these coils already in there to work with the Bedini circuit. Only for the simple fact that this motor is all engineered already, balanced. A lot of a lot of thoughts gone into that. So it seems like the logical thing to do is retrofit something that already works to serve my purposes. This motor here is also it's an old bench grinder. I'm gonna try to work on that later. Do something with that. Probably make another Bedini motor. A box of light bulbs here. I did though so far. I took a old T1 modem box, cut a hole in it, sunk some switches in it with the backing plates. Basically I'm going to wire these four lights into this outlet right here, this receptacle, and put a grounded plug on this black motor here when I'm done, and just use the actual power cord to plug into that load bank directly. Simple on off switch there safety really. This Bedini motor here has proven my concept so far. Or it's been built for proof of concept I should say. It's been working out fairly good so far. Seems almost too good. So I want to try to upscale into something that's a little more industrial. Such as that motor over there. So it's not so big and bulky. Plus the tolerances are a lot greater so should be able to collect more energy from it. it. Works here on this small scale. I can't see why it wouldn't work on a ramped up scale. It's an old rotor there. Something else I tried another time. Another motor I built. So, maybe when I get some more of that industrial motor done, I'll make another video and get you guys updated where I'm at here. Thanks for watching.